At the Planck scale, time stops being continuous. It's like just as everything stops being continuous when we get down to quantum level. So what we think of as continuity of time at the Planck level, it's like little tiny chunks of time, but they are so, so small. I forget the numbers, but we're talking about like, like trillions of trillionths of a second. It's so, so minute. Now, how do we know it's true? Because as far as we're concerned, we're always looking at wherever we are as being present and wherever we were is being past and wherever we're going to is being future. So we're always in the present and we're always looking at what just happened. So what we're doing is creating a story. Uh, we're saying, ah, well that must have been what just happened in order to explain what we just observed. So what we find is with new ways of doing experiments that we actually create different stories for what could have been the past in order to explain what we observe now. And we can change that story by doing something in the present which changes what the past could have been, even though what happened in the past may have already happened a long time ago. By something we do in the present, we can change what that past must have been. We didn't observe it back there. We're only observing something in the present, but we're constructing a story about what happened in the, in the past. So this has opened up a new kind of causality, uh, something which we don't have a good word for.